Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator, and welcome to Project Ozone 2 Reloaded, episode 18. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm standing here in my little slippers. See? You see that? See? Slippers. I can't, I can't see them. I can see them. They're slippers. Yes. Um, I put them on because I was working so hard, and my chicken chunks was really going down. I was like, oh, I have no food. And then I remembered my slippers, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll put my slippers back on. Your slippers will and, feed you. And voila, they do. I love it. You don't need food in this game. If you I mean, have slippers that will feed you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you just need to eat with your feet. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, down to business. Enough about my slippers. <laughs> okay. So what do we got today? What have um, we done? What are we doing? Well, I want we wanted to uh, kind of show this because there's no way we could have actually made all this on camera because it's just too much. I don't know. Definitely not. This took us See, a good hour and a half, yeah, wasn't it? Just it, to set to, it up to make all of this stuff and then set this up, and we're not even finished yet. So let's finish up. That sounds good. <laughs> um. Let me come over here and, oh, let me grab my um, materials here. Uh, to make the conductive iron, you put redstone, equal parts redstone and iron, and that will make your conductive iron. Um, I probably should have done three. Uh, well, I've already started now, so never mind. Anyway, it, I've got nine here. So now let's take this over here and... To make the conductive iron, I'm making energy conduits, okay, and I need the conductive iron. So, we've got that, and the rest, there it goes, induction smelter, or alloy smelter. And, of course, I use the alloy smelter. Okay, so, to make the energy conduit, you also need conduit binder. Conduit binder, the recipe for that is six gravel, two sand, and one clay. I'm going to shift and I'm going to hope that it works and I don't crash. I've been very leery about doing that. It's crazy. I've been going, I don't know about this. Uh, uh, right now, right now, I'll just, make, yeah, I'll just make 64 right now. Okay, okay so now we, when you have the, the uh, binder composite, let me pull that out. You need the bind, the conduit binder. So what do you need to do for that? You need to smelt it. And of course you can do the redstone furnace. You can do the alloy smelter. And that's about it. Okay, so we need to smelt this. So I'm going to pop it in this little redstone furnace right here that we've already got set up here. And I'm going to pull some of this out and put some in that one. And I'll pull some of this out and put some in this one. And by the time I get done, we'll probably be just about done. And these, look there, it makes a lot. Um, All kinds. Oh, uh, yeah. It's super, just crazy. super lot. Head it super fast and, and now super done. pretty much done, right? Yeah. Yep. All of, them, all of them are empty, so that didn't take long, long at all. Ooh, my game just glitched. Ugh. That's okay. Okay, so conduit binder. Uh -huh. We need six, top and bottom. And then we need our uh, conductive iron. Conductive iron. So I'm going to go ahead and make three stuff. groups, and that'll give me 48. And as you can see, I still have three stacks plus 46 of the conduit binder, so that's going to last a long time. Okay, now, I also need, where's my, there we go, pulsating iron. I need some little nuggets here, so let me pull yeah. some nuggets out. I also need to make... Uh, the item, oh great, where is it? There it is. Item conduits. And that needs the conduit binder. And you need pulsating iron nuggets. Now the pulsating iron nuggets I got from making, same thing, induction smelter or I use the alloy furnace. This time you're going to use an iron ingot and you're going to use an ender pearl. And thanks to our little ender pearl, Lily seed farm thing that we got ender we've lilies got on the endstone ender lily on endstone we got we have quite a few ender pearls now so we have our pulsating iron and then obviously you just turn that in nuggets so now we go nuggets mm -hmm. and we go binder 
and there we go 16 uh that should probably be enough for right now i'm thinking, probably so i'm gonna go ahead and give you the item conduits because you're the one that actually needs those and i'm gonna take these energy conduits and i'm going to go see about tying in our our water mills to our i'm sorry what is this called uh Horizon? combustion generator um energy ah uh the combustion generator energy i've got these leads these leadstone flux ducts yep and they go under the floor here and go all the way uh, across here they go underneath here you can see it attached to the automatic sieve Boop. and they end right over here so what i'm uh, gonna need we need one gonna, here what i'm gonna try to do to these, what i'm gonna try to do is there you go is attach this uh actually i'm gonna do it like this um but i want to unattach the other stuff there we go i need one two three four five five there we go five all right that's all you need yep okay so okay. you you explain that while i start putting Certainly. this over here so i'm going to continue running this power so we're going to place one onto here uh, and on here. These two don't actually need the power. I just need to get the power up to here, here, and here so that those can run. I'm in a hole. I don't want it. Yep. I guess I can. There we go. Make... Okay, so yeah, now that's running because that's got power now, which is good. And that'll, that'll, all of these are stopped. These are getting, so starting from the beginning, the cobble transfer node is making its, trans, its cobble and it's bringing it over through this pipe and into this pulverizer, this pulverizer, and this pulverizer, and they are making gravel and sand. And what we're going to have is we're going to have the sand come out of the back and go into this insert green only sand gimme oops i threw that sand on the ground there we go so this is only sand there we go and this is going to be on wait a minute do i not have my item my item duck's not connected give me those back oh it's not because i don't have the back open yet okay so the back The orange is going to go out the back. And then... No, I just want yellow out the back. There we go. It's been a while since I've used thermal expansion. And then, if I look over here, I want, for the left side, I want this to push just the gravel. So it's red. So the red will push into here. This is going to accept gravel and then push out the back the dust and on the right or on the left sorry on the left will be the sand and then this guy will accept the sand and it will push the dust out here we go so now that's sieving up, that's that's sieving up the dust so this doesn't need to do the same thing but for the sand and let's get all of those set up. Excuse me just a second. Sure. I just wanted to make note here. Um, I forgot while I was clearing all this out. Here's a chance cube right here. And now I'm so afraid to, to hit it. I We actually have to go around it so that it, we are not disturbing. And I thought that was funny. It's like, oh, good grief. Um, you know, I'm just afraid that... I'm going to end up messing up there. So it's like, yeah, we'll just leave it. That way we don't end up getting hurt. I just wanted to show that. I thought it was crazy. Ah, okay. So I've now set up each one of these. So this pulverizer is accepting for the cobble, pushing out for the gravel, and pushing the sand out the back. 
This one is accepting the the gravel, pushing the sand out, and the dust will go out the back. We don't have that set up yet. And then this one will take all the dust and push it in. Same thing here. This grabs all the cobble, pushes out the gravel and the sand. And then this one will take the gravel and push out the sand and the dust. The sand is filled right now. It does That's not getting power. Oh, so I need some more energy stuff so that these sieves can run too. I need uh, three energy conduits. So let's go ahead and... Got them right here. Put you on an insert. Three. Do only... Oh, I put sand in there. There you I go. Want sand. Thank you. You want them? I want some gravel. Give me some gravel and some dust. All right, and you are on an insert, but you are only going to insert dust. Cool. Dust is going into there. Gravel, sand in there. Gravel in there. Perfect. And then we need our power conduits. There we go. And those should all be working. So now that's pushing out, that's pushing out, and that's pushing out. Cool. Um, we might need to switch out the... Oh, that's going pretty quick. But that one's not. We might need to swap out our power cables because it, it looks like they're they're being slowed it's not able to run all of these the leadstone conduit it's not able to run them all so we'll have to make that upgrade after okay uh so this needs so now everything that gets sifted from the gravel is going to go into the into here everything that's sifted from sand is going to go into here and everything that's sifted from from the um, dust is going to go into here. I just wanted to uh, mention the structural duct, which is a facade for thermal thermodynamics, and the recipe for it. Okay, why did it go to that one? I don't understand. You're supposed to be able to hit R over top of it and it went to the anyway iron just two little iron nuggets and a lead ingot will get you six of these structural ducts and then if you just take whatever you're wanting just take one of those and one of the structural ducts you'll get six of the facades and then you could just place it right over top of things um but it does not do in the uh within it doesn't have a hole in it that's how i did the ones over here on the uh okay why aren't these working uh, oh because <gasps> this is in dry oh that's why um that's how i did this one here uh that is actually uh they call it tile covers um, that's how I hid this and the floor here and is the wall as well. But that's how I did it. Cool. So, how are we doing? Going slowly. Slowly but steady. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up going through these and deciding what I don't want it to go in. And we're going to put a chest that's here. Yes. That will only allow those into it yes um but our chest that we're gonna use look at it it's full it's full it's very full we need to process this stuff um because i did an enormous amount of sieving so we need to process all that uh so we just need to figure out if we want certain objects like surgis quartz we do not want oh no you can still break it back down Surtis Quartz is fine. Uh, we want, want to make sure that... You don't want Surtis Quartz going into the crafter because you don't want it to go into the redstone furnace. The only thing that needs to go into That's the crafter true. is things that are going to go into the redstone furnace. Right. Exactly. 
So those need to be pulled out. There we go. So we just have to go through here and set all these to pull out whatever it is we don't want to come in. For instance, I don't want gunpowder to go in there. And there we go. So now we just got to set these guys up and get them processing. Sounds wonderful. We also don't want redstone to go in there either. No, we do not. So this is this is the basic start part of this. I might need to use a more advanced process thing because uh, I just ran out of spots for that. So we'll see. Apply that. Get this one. Apply this. So the initial, the, the, in, the initial setup of, of everything is there and everything will end up processing um, like it's supposed to, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we are not going about the, you know how you can, I've got this, for instance, gravel in my, in my inventory here. Yes. Uh, you set it down and hit it with your hammer and, yes. and then redo it again, hoping for that extra little piece. Um, I actually did that with several things in the beginning and rarely did I get that extra piece and so it's pretty much in my opinion not really worth it so I'm we're just processing it you know turning it into the square four you know yep. four but four things will will turn it into the gravel the dust or the sand yeah sand and going ahead and, and processing it that is the I guess you could call it the inefficient way because you could get a teeny bit more you could but we're not gonna worry about that so I'm going to finish putting all of these things in here and process all of this stuff so that we can get our uh, chest over there so that it can pull everything that it's supposed to pull yeah we have uh, silver and nickel that I can't process in this one yeah well I'm trying to get all this processed so that I can bring this chest over here uh, because there's a lot there's a lot of uh, ores and things that I can put in there um, which actually I could start bringing those things over and put them in the packagers um, we could start doing that but anyway we can do that off camera yep so I think I can just pop this stuff in here and I pop this in here and there we go all right I think I think that'll do it for this episode I think so I'm Froggy Lumpy and I'm Phoenix Animator Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Hi there. Hi. Bye. Bye. See you all later. Bye.